Who's your favorite musician? Mu musician. <laughs> Get it together. Mm. Upside down phone. <laughs> Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's Airy Fairy here and I'm coming at you with something different today. I'm actually going to do a get to know me video so you guys get to know a little bit more about me. Um, I found some questions online that I'm going to read from my phone and I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys because that's just who I am. So let me get these questions. Alright, so the first question is what is your full name? My full name is Ariel Alicia Morgan. And the next question is asking if I'm named after anybody, and I don't think so. Um, I know The Little Mermaid did come out before I was born, but I asked my dad and he just said him and my mom came up with it. So I'm not currently named after anybody, it's just me, original. What does my name mean? Um, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, my dad and my mom kind of came up with it, and I asked him why he picked Alicia for my middle name. And he just said it kind of flows, and it does, like he's right. Where are you from? I am from Edison, New Jersey. Um, and where were you born? Where do you live? Okay, so I'll just answer all those. <laughs> I'm from Edison, New Jersey. I live in New Jersey still. I'm in the South River. And I was born in Somerset, New Jersey, so I'm a Jersey girl. <laughs> Which of your parents are you closest to? I'm closest to my dad. Um, my mom, unfortunately, passed away when I was younger. So it's just been me and my dad. Um, and then the next question is, which one of your parents are you more like? I'm definitely more like my dad. Me and my dad are literally the same. And my dad literally has taught me everything. I was a tomboy when I was growing up. So I like comic books and video games. My dad just taught me everything I know about that. Marvel movies like Black Panther, we were so excited. Um, Star Wars, just everything learned from him. <laughs> What is your favorite drink? Currently my favorite drink is actually a smoothie. I've been really loving pineapple smoothies. Mm -hmm. So good. Um, interruption? Not okay. What is your favorite food? My favorite food, hands down, is tacos. Love tacos so much. And sushi. I gotta pick two. Um, yeah, I love both of them. And of course they have to be vegan because I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a vegan, and love me some vegan tacos. Uh, the next thing is, what is your favorite childhood memory? I remember when I was younger, my dad had um, a big cookout for his job, and I remember it was so much fun because everything was free. Like, everything was included, so there was a pool, there was a basketball court, badminton, food, like... I went ham on food. I remember that I, <laughs> I used to sneak away and get a bunch of ice cream. And my dad would be like, how many ice cream have you had? I'm like, oh, dad, it's just my second one. It was like really my like 12th one. <laughs> I was just like obsessed with all the food because it was for free. Like, wouldn't you want to eat 12 ice creams? 12 ice creams. So that's my favorite childhood memory. And if they still had this, I would still be going because free food is free food. Okay. What is your favorite way to pass time? I like to scroll through Instagram <laughs> um, about that social media life and I'll be honest guys I'm a big kid so my TV in the room and in the living room is set to Cartoon Network. I do watch Netflix too but I love cartoons mainly like I love anime um, I also love Adult Swim so yeah, it's set to that, and I literally watch that. Even if I've seen it, I still watch it. I don't know. I just, I just love it. <laughs> um, so I guess it's going back to my childhood. What is your favorite snack? Oh my god, my sister got me onto these chia seed chips. I told her like we had a snow day recently, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna eat like a couple. Like, before you know it, the whole bag was gone. Like, I don't know what they put in there, but it's literally so good. It's so good. What is your favorite sport? Yes, I'm an Eagles fan. And I get that from my dad. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's my favorite sport. Um, I do like basketball. And volleyball, I did play both of them because I am six foot. 
Um, so my dad tried to get me into sports, but I'm like, no dad, I kind of want to do fashion and makeup. Sorry to crush your dreams. <laughs> Are you a dog or a cat person? So I love both of them, but let's be honest, I'm lazy. I don't want to go outside to walk my dog, especially in the cold. Um, I'm a cat person. <laughs> um, I do have a cat right now. Are you scared of heights? So the funny thing is, when I was younger, I was not afraid of heights, but for some reason now, I'm like terrified. Like, I, I don't know what it is. For example, I went, um, a couple years ago, I went to the Empire State Building. I went all the way to the top and I literally like glanced down. I was like, all right, I saw it. Like, it's fine. Like, I can't look down. I'm just like, ugh. So yes, I do have a fear of heights. What is an ideal first date for you? So... Like I said, I'm a tomboy, so I'm, I'm, I mean, I do like my bougie meals. I, I could go out to a five-star restaurant, but when I first meet someone, um, I do have a boyfriend now, but when we do go on, like, a first date, I want to do activities. I want to do, like, mini golf or, like, video games or something that we're, we're not just sitting down, like, having a dinner, like, trying to talk to get to know each other. Like, obviously, I want to get to know you, but I want to do an activity, so it will be... I, I don't know, I'm like a fun environment, not so serious. What is at the top of your bucket list? So the top of my bucket list was to get my passport, which I finally did because my sister's getting married in Jamaica, which I'm so excited about. But, um, yeah, so I crossed that one off. The next thing on my bucket list is to travel the world. I can't wait. What is something that you were gifted at? Well, I think I'm really gifted at makeup. I hope you guys think I am too. Um... Yeah, I, I really love art. Um, I can't draw, but I love to look at the art. Um, and I just, I, I love making people happy. So that's why I really love doing makeup. And I feel like you can see my gift because I'm so passionate about it. What is one item you can't leave home without? Um, well, since I am a vegan, it's very hard. I mean, not now, but just in case, like, I go somewhere and they don't have food. Like, I don't want to be hangry because... Get a little crazy <laughs> so I make sure I have like some snacks so that's one thing I can't leave the house without is snacks and water those are my like two things I need 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 to have what is the best compliment you ever received oh my god so I used to have um, both sides of my head shaved um, I'll put a picture like over here so you guys can see um, but like, everyone used to call me like oh my god you look at Rihanna and I love Rihanna like I love everything she does. I love her makeup line. I just, I just love her. She's just amazing. And that was the best compliment ever. When I always got that from people, I'm like, oh god, thank you. Like, I am Rihanna. I am. Now that my hair isn't shaved anymore, I don't get that compliment, but that was the best compliment I've ever gotten. What is the first book you remember reading? Where are my Dr. Seuss fans at? I remember reading Go Dogs Go. That was my jam. Like, I still remember the picture. I read Go, um, what, what is it? Um, I read Green Eggs and Ham, but Go Dogs Go, like, that was it for me. Um, what is the last book you read? The last book I read was from Russell Simmons. It's, um, I forgot what it's called. Um, but it was just talking about his life, him being vegan and, like, him doing yoga and stuff. It was just really inspiring to me. What is your best physical feature? I love my cheekbones. I have Native American in me, so I thank my great grandmother for these cheekbones. And when I contour them, I'm just like, yes, give me that sharp cheekbone. What is your biggest accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment was graduating college. If you're in college, please don't be discouraged. You're gonna finish. It's almost there, don't worry. Um, I'm gonna tell you a story. So, when I first went to college after high school, I, I think they need to have like a program because I was still in party mode. Went to Rutgers, partied a bunch. Um, then I went to college, partied a bunch, <laughs> didn't stop. Uh, so, my first college I flunked out of. Um, I didn't buy the books, didn't do the homework, barely went to class. So yeah, that was a disaster. Then I went to another college. I went to a community college. I didn't like it because there was not a fashion environment. I wasn't really surrounded with fashion. It was kind of, it's a community college, so there's everything there. 
Um, and then I went to my last college and I was like, listen, I need to get it together. Like I'm paying money for this. Like it's serious. I need to stop doing this. And they told me that I was going to be in college for four years, but I got out in three. What is your eye color? My eyes are brown. Boring. Whatever. <laughs> What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Um, I do like red um, and yellow. And I like wearing black. Like I really like neutral colors. I don't really like wearing loud colors. I'm not about it. What is your favorite ice cream? Chocolate. Literally give me chocolate ice cream and I will kill it in like two seconds. Not even gonna lie. I love chocolate ice cream. I love chocolate anything actually. You know what? Just give me chocolate anything. What is your favorite fairy tale? Um, Harry Potter is a fairy tale. Yeah. Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. I read all of the books, seen all the movies, and I just wish I was at Hogwarts. What is your favorite music genre? So, you guys are going to think I'm like so weird. My genre is like all over the place. So in high school, um, I was a scene kid. I don't know if you guys know what that is. But just look it up. I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> so I got into the Screamo music. I still listen to it. Um, not as much as I used to, but I still do listen to it. But I mostly listen to rap and R&B and a little bit of pop. I'm actually really upset that Warp Tour is the last one. Like, I've been going to Warp Tour since, like, 2011. So I will be there. I wish I could go to every one of them. <laughs> but I will be there even though I don't listen to it that often, but I still kind of do, like, all of my days where I want to listen to, like, Emma Rosa, and then I'll kind of switch over to Azalea Dine, which is my favorite band, by the way, and I met Tim. I will put the picture right here. I was so nervous, but it was the best picture ever, um, and then I listened to Pierce the Veal. I met him, too, um, so it's really kind of all over, and then I'll just listen to rap. Um, my favorite artist right now is Jorna Lucas. Like, look him up. He is the truth. What is your favorite nickname? Come on, guys. It's Airy Fairy. <laughs> well, um, when I was younger, they called me Airy because I guess Ariel was way too long. <laughs> so they just shortened it. And um, when I worked in retail, one of my friends, Zakaya, hey girl, if you're watching, uh, she gave me the nickname Airy Fairy, and I thank her to this day. I'm like, thank you for calling me that because you set my whole platform up. Like, that is me. What's your favorite type of clothing? That's a weird question. Like... They should ask, like, what is your favorite style or something? No, I'm not going to answer that. I'm going to change it and say, what is your favorite type of style? Um, I kind of am all over with my style. It really depends. Like, sometimes I like dressing up. Sometimes I like to dress down. Like, it really depends on the situation. But, like I said, I'm a tomboy-ish, so I like to wear Vans a lot. Um, but then I like to wear heels, so it really depends, like how I'm feeling. What is your most commonly used swear word? Oh my god. Because I seem all innocent and cute, but I am honestly, I have a trucker's mouth and I love the F word. <laughs> like, I say that all the time. Um, clearly, if you watch my how to do someone's makeup video, I say it, but I mean, I bleep it out. But, yeah, I say it all the time. It's, it's a bad habit that I'm not going to crack. Sorry. I'm not going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to keep saying it. Do you have a best friend? If so, then who? I actually have two. Uh, Melanie and Stephanie. They've been my best friends since junior year of high school. I think junior or sophomore year. And we still talk to this day even though they live in Texas. They abandoned me. They left me right after high school. After we had all these plans. It's okay. I still, I still get to see them. Um, I used to see them every year. But once I moved out on my own and had to pay for bills, I couldn't go every, <laughs> I couldn't go every year. Um, but I did recently just see them in November, and I'm gonna see them again in April because they're engaged. Like my sister's engaged. Everyone's engaged. <laughs> Everyone's in love. I love it though. It's amazing. Do you have a tattoo? <sighs> do I have a tattoo? <laughs> How many? And what do they mean? All right. So I have these. Right here, I have half of a sleeve. Um, I'm really tall, like I mentioned before, so it's going to take me a little bit to get up here. <laughs> um, God, I have my whole chest done. It goes all the way down. I have like a skeleton key. I have 
on my back. I have a bunch, guys. Like, I have Boo right there. I told you I'm a video game fan. And on the other side, if you know what this is, I'm not going to tell you. You need to know what this is. There's three of them, but my shirt's not letting me show the other one. Um, you know what this is if you're a video game nerd like I am. I have two on my stomach, one on my foot. Um, oh, in the back of my neck. <laughs> I always forget about that one. Um, in the back of my neck, it says Love, Life, Faith. You want to see right there. I don't know if you guys can see. Sorry if you can't. But yeah, do I have tattoos? I have a bunch of tattoos. And what do they mean? They honestly don't mean anything. Um, I just like art, like I said. Um, and I really, I love the mandala. Um, this says love life. So it's just like, you know, love life, guys. These, honestly, I got these when I was 18. They'd be nothing. Um, this one, <laughs> this one is for, I had an obsession with Kesha and I still do. It says get sleazy with the S and the dollar sign. I know I'm crazy. The only thing that really means something is the, these arrows, even though they're so faded. Um, it's for the Native American part of me. That's really the only thing that means something to me. I and mean, I really like people are like, don't you care? Like, you're gonna get old and you're gonna see all these. Like, I don't care. It's my body. I can do whatever I want to it. And you know, I just love the art on my body. Okay. I told you I was getting real with you guys. Do you prefer kissing or cuddling? Um, both. Cuddle me and kiss me, bae. What piece of technology can you not live without? Okay, so if this was like two weeks ago, I would say my phone, but I've been without my phone for like a week and I've been fine. I was like, oh, I'm actually loving it until like I got lost when we had a snow day. But, um, technology, I guess. TV? Oh, I don't even know because I have a laptop. My camera. <laughs> can't have my camera. I can't record, you know. What was the first concert you ever attended? Warp Tour 2011. What was your first job? Oh my god, guys. So, I was in um I was a server for pizza. Oh my god, I worked for two pizza places then I worked for Pizza Hut. Like I was like obsessed with pizza, I guess. When did you suffer your first heartbreak? Wow, I'm gonna get real with you guys. All right, so I was engaged a couple years ago and we broke that off. Everything happens for a reason because I have the most amazing boyfriend now. Um, and I don't regret anything in my life. I'm kind of glad that that did happen because it made me who I am today and it made me really find myself. Um, it did suck, but like I said, everything happens for a reason. Who is the first person you call when something exciting happens? And then the next one is, who is the first person you call when something horrible happens? Uh, my boyfriend to both of those, like, I literally tell him everything. <laughs> who is your favorite musician? Um, I mean, he's a rapper right now. I'm obsessed with Joyner Lucas. He spits fire. You guys should look him up. Who was your first celebrity crush? Okay, so you know how everybody has a crush on Drake now? Let me go back to Degrassi days. If you know what I'm talking about, Jimmy. I was obsessed with Jimmy. When he got shot, I literally cried. Like, my dad came home and he's like, why are you crying? I'm like, dad, because Jimmy got shot. And he's like, who the hell is Jimmy? I loved Jimmy so much and then he turned into Drake. Like, I go way back with Drake. If you can give your younger self any advice, what would it be? Honestly, I would say fuck the haters. I was always made fun of because I was so tall and everybody else was shorter than me. Like, I was always in the back. When we took, like, class pictures, I was always in the back and that always was discouraging to me. If I was younger, I would tell myself to just embrace it. Embrace it. Don't slouch. Like, just live up to it. Who cares what they say? Own up to your tallness, boo. You got it. What is your most embarrassing moment? Oh my god, I have one. So I t <laughs> we did this at work and I, like told this story okay so I remember this time in high school um I was just sitting there like taking notes or whatever my boyfriend at the time was outside of the door and <laughs> um I guess my, my pencil like dropped and I didn't feel like getting up because I have long arms I was like oh I could just reach it whatever so um the desk like tipped over <laughs> and like I made this big bang sound and he's staring at like we just started dating he's standing outside the door like it was so embarrassing <laughs> And everyone in the class is laughing. I'm so embarrassed. And I literally, like, 
I think I just sit there like I don't even remember what I did because it just happened so fast the first app you check when you wake up Instagram I love Instagram what app do you use most Instagram <laughs> and what do you do for a living makeup I'm a makeup artist and I love it the best thing ever that's it if you did like videos like this like uh, get to know me talk through videos just give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are new here um, I do makeup videos if you are um, an upcoming makeup artist I'll teach you how to do makeup on other people uh, a lot of good things coming guys and comment um if you guys have any other questions for me just leave them down in the description box below and I will answer every question that you guys throw at me thank you so 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 much for watching um, I really loved talking in front of you guys. I hope you really like getting to know me and I'll see you soon. Bye beauties!